Good morning, y'all. Happy December 6th. Today, I'm starting off the day by going to Orange Theory, and I am so nervous because I haven't been literally since like a couple days before my birthday and my birthday was november 25th and it is december 6th so that's a really freaking long time it's probably like the longest i've gone so far without going and so i'm a little bit nervous and um they started posting on their instagram like what we're gonna be doing the next day and honestly i low-key hate it i could totally unfollow the instagram but like i want to see the other stuff but anyways <laughs> i don't like to know what i'm gonna be doing before i go because that makes me not want to go even more and like I feel like it gives me an excuse oh like it's leg day today like um uh, my legs kind of sore already you know I may have said this in the other vlog but when I got back from Thanksgiving break I was really scared to step on the scale um and it ended up looking like I lost like a pound and I was just like very shook I was like I mean it makes sense because I wasn't really snacking as much as I do at home and obviously my mom is like very very healthy moral of the story is that i'm really just excited to like get down even more on my weight and i know a lot of you guys are asking for an orange theory update video i kind of want to do one when i get to my actual goal comment down below if you guys have any orange theory questions because then maybe i could just do like a q a for now and then do like my whole transformation what i think and like all of that at the end of like my journey i guess i don't know like i don't know if i'm ever actually gonna quit like yes it is a lot of money so maybe if i like hit my goal and i feel pretty good and i know that i can do it on my own which i i don't see myself going to the gym alone like ever again really like i feel like just the group setting is just so nice because it motivates you to like push yourself harder like i would never do that alone because there's no one that you're scared of like looking down at your numbers and stuff sometimes the coaches will like kind of go around and just like push you a little bit harder you know i'm like oh so now i get your numbers up a little bit anyways okay yeah so ask me some orange theory questions down below i'm gonna go i'm like a minute late well i usually like to get there early but i'm a minute late on like my schedule so <laughs> gotta go i am back from orange theory and it was such a good class like i was literally in bed thinking like i do not want to go like maybe i'll just wait till monday because i haven't gone for so long and i was just like maybe i should just start it off on a new week but then i booked my class and just got out of bed kind of forced myself which is good because it was probably one of my best classes um at least on the treadmill because i got swag i got orange series swag it's the i i guess it's another version of hell week which i literally did not know um and it kind of sucks because i'd rather it just be like a normal orange theory class and it be like harder but they like not tell us but no they're like posting it everywhere so like i kind of knew what i was getting myself into which sucked but it was um like six days of like shaking legs or something so um the, it says all out mayhem so i got up to 10 on the incline with keeping my speed at six miles per hour so i got free swag and honestly she said it like halfway um into like the incline so like at five incline she said oh like if you like complete this challenge like i actually have some free swag for you so that really gave me motivation because i've never gotten orange theory swag before <laughs> So yeah, I got this hat. I thought it was black because it's super dark in there, but I'm super excited I got this hat and I'm definitely gonna find a way to wear this hat because I'm gonna brag, I killed it. And I will put my stats right here, a screenshot of my stats. Oh. Anyways, so I will put my stats right here. I burned probably the most I've ever burned in an Orange Theory class. It was over 600 calories, I was shook. Um, so I'm really happy because my new heart monitor is actually working. Um, and yeah, so I'm just feeling really good about myself because I thought coming back after that long would kill me. But surprisingly, I mean, the leg stuff like after the treadmill was hard, but surprisingly it didn't kill me as much as I thought it would. So today I have a lot of vlogs to edit. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like letting them like pile up on themselves it's december 6th right now and i still have not edited my thanksgiving vlog so i'm being really really bad and i need to get to it if you guys have been watching my videos i'm a photographer i'm doing freelance right now and so i'm just trying to kind of get into the greek life and like ut scene um in that aspect so i'm kind of just reaching out to some people giving like 
some free shoots away and I'm hoping by doing this it will kind of get my name out there um, because they'll be tagging me in the photos and hopefully just keeping me in mind for future events so I'm doing that today at 3 p.m. and I wanted to do it at 3 p.m. I was gonna do it at 4 but I did not want to drive in traffic so hopefully I'll be able to drive back home at like 4. So I just put on a little bit of makeup and now I have like uh, Amazon package that I kind of forgot what's in here, so I thought we would just unbox it together. Okay, this is my new MacBook case, and I got it in like a nude color. So I feel like that's like so me now, um, which I honestly didn't really think that it would get super dirty it's definitely gonna get dirty but yeah this is what it looks like it's just this new color um, I'll have it linked down below it actually also comes with a pat or a pouch for your little like hard drives or like connectors chargers all that so I thought that was really cool um, that's what kind of drew me to this one um, but yeah so I have that and then I actually got like more SD cards on Black Friday. I was doing some SD card research and this is the one I ended up going with. This is the Lexar Professional 128 gigabyte. Um, and I'm so excited to have more SD cards because they just like slowly break and it's very scary to like have photographs and like shoot on, on reliable SD cards that are like on its like last thread. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought three of those. And now I should probably head over to UT um, at like 2.30. I don't know how far it is. Let's see. I honestly knew I really wouldn't have time to edit today, but it's okay. Hopefully I can do it later tonight or tomorrow. I took pictures of a sorority council um, at UT's campus and we live like Southeast Austin, which shouldn't take that long. Like it should maybe take like 20 minutes on a good day, but it took an hour to get home and that gave me a big headache. So yeah, I need to remember like actually never to drive at traffic time because it's literally hell out there. <laughs> but right now we are actually gonna try some all you can eat sushi at Sushi Jenai. Um, we have been here like twice I think and we have never eaten the all, all you can eat sushi but we've always seen it and so I think we're gonna try it tonight um apparently you can order anything off the menu I wish I didn't just have a snack because I'm so hungry and I feel like my head was kind of hurting because I didn't really eat that much today too but hopefully I'll have an appetite for this and like make it well worth it. I think it's like $30 for dinner and then $21 for lunch. So if you guys are in Austin, I'll let you know how it is so you guys can come try Sushi Jenai. Good morning y'all, it's December 7th and I am starting off the day by cooking breakfast. I'm making biscuits and gravy and while I'm doing that, I'm probably gonna start getting ready because I look crazy. After I showered, I put my hair in a bun so I'm a little nervous to see what it looks like after I take it out. Um, but today is the SEC championship. My boyfriend Ryan went to Georgia so I have a little shirt that says touchdown and we're gonna probably watch it at a bar. My meal is done. Ryan actually went to the grocery store to pick up some like cleaning sprays because Sophie peed on the floor. Looking guilty and shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we ran out of like um, pee spray and all of our other sprays because I guess I clean just that often. Um, but I made the, uh, what's this called? Gravy, I guess. Um, a little too salty. I have a very heavy hand when it comes to salt. Like I love salt, but Ryan doesn't. So then I had to like pour more milk and flour and all that. But these biscuits look and smell amazing. So I'm so excited for Ryan to come back so we can eat. It probably doesn't look very satisfying, but trust me, it's so yum. You excited? Yes, can we eat my favorite breakfast? 
Ryan always says how bad my posture is because I look down at my phone all the time. So, well, I didn't even like tell my mom that, but she also thinks my posture is very bad. So she was like, oh, Sonali, I have like this thing that like makes your posture like better. I haven't ordered the same one on Amazon, but a bigger size. And so this is what it looks like. I'll try to link it on Amazon. I mean, I definitely like feel it, but this is like my first time really wearing it. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna eat in it, this because I definitely like hunch over what I eat, <laughs> but we'll try it and see. Mm. You like it for real? The UGA game has started. We haven't left yet because um, I just want to pregame a little bit. I'm the type of girl that tries to save as much money on alcohol as she can, so I made a little concoction. Don't mind the glass. We literally ran out of glasses. They're all in the wash, but um, I put in tequila, Sprite Zero, and then a whole lime in here. It's pretty good. How do you feel about this game? Easy win. Actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be us losing bad or us winning every time. up doing the jump bikes. <laughs> This is our view right now. This is the bridge near like Whole Foods and stuff, but there's like a really cool creek down here. Wait, come over here. You can see it better over here. All the buildings. It's a really cool view. Good morning y'all, it is Sunday and it is bright and early. It is 7.47 a.m. and I have a shoot with another sorority council. Um, we're doing it near like the Trader Joe's and it's a really cool area. I've actually wanted to shoot at this building for a really long time. I always drive past it and it's really cool looking. So we're gonna do that this morning and then at 10 a.m. Ryan has like this Lululemon like sale that he wants to go to. I guess like his work gets a percentage off at the Lululemon um, in the domain. I just finished shooting and it went really well. I really like that area. I'm definitely gonna add it to one of my new locations to shoot at. We are trying to find things that are open. It's 9.15 a.m. and it is a Sunday, so like I kind of knew everything wasn't gonna be open, but I looked on freaking Google because, you know, I'm a planner and I look, and Ulta said it was open at 9 a.m. I was like, there's like no way, it can't be real. Everything else isn't open, so we go there, and of course on the door it says 11 a.m. open time on Sundays, so. I don't know what Google is doing wrong, like where they get their information, but like it's rude. Waste my time. But we are going into Whole Foods because they have these Christmas trees. They're like mini ones, there's tall ones, and we just kind of wanted to check them out, see how much they cost and all that stuff. So these are the mini ones. Are they real? I mean, they have to be, right? I can't smell it. Are you sure? I mean, they have to be. They're in right? the stands with water. What? They're in stands with water, so probably. I just, I still don't know what a real Christmas tree smells like. Like pine. Growing up, I always had fake ones, <laughs> so I don't know. They look very, like, strong though, you know? Mm-hmm. Do you like So we are at the Domain, and we're about to go to the Lululemon event. It's like Fort Oracle employees only with a special discount. The store is closed just for us right now. Really? I think so. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna <clears throat> purchase anything because I feel like there's just so many other brands out there 
that are equally as good that aren't that expensive but if I see yeah if I see a really good deal maybe but probably not It's noon and I already had my crash of the day when Ryan was like going into Nordstrom Rack. I was in the car and took a really nice nap. <laughs> so now I'm recharged hopefully, but we are actually gonna go to Rousseau's Pizza. We are actually doing like a media dine. I learned that word from Taylor. I hung out with a food blogger in South Florida, so I will link that blog down below because it was really cool. She answered a lot of like food blogger question so if you guys are interested in that definitely check out that video but yeah we're doing a media dine um I do like influencer stuff here in Austin on Instagram so I guess they found me in that way and invited us to eat there so we are gonna go in and check it out currently 517 and we had our naps of the day um, and we are actually on our way to Sam's Club because we might get a mattress today we're just wanting a king-size mattress right now we have a queen but it's just not enough because Sophie sleeps with us apparently I take up the whole entire bed which I know I do so. we have a frame already a uh, king-size one the back porch we can use oh but we just need a headboard really I was looking at Wayfair and there was really nothing eye-catching as a headboard that I would like. They're all just like super like boring <laughs> but and they were like still expensive so I was just like that's definitely not worth it. I left my wallet with my Sam's Club membership at home so we couldn't go anyway. Because it closed at 6 and it's 5.30. Um, so we're going to home goods instead. Yes. And I don't even know if we're still decorating for Christmas. I guess there's, there probably are like little mini Christmas trees in there we could look at. Yeah. But, yeah, I feel like it's just so late in the month. Probably should have just done it earlier. <laughs> um, but, I mean, definitely next year. But, I don't know. This year, it's just, we have a lot of shit to get. These are the ones we chose. They have like a nice ergonomic hold. <laughs> Alright, so I got mixing bowls because I need some. So I got a bigger one. And only one.